Sa mga previous lessons natin sa pagkuha ng volume using integration, meron tayong tinatawag na disks method or washers method. Now, ngayon naman, ibang method naman yung gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng volume ng isang solid figure. Ito yung pagkuha ng volume with known cross sections. Now, sa example na to, let's find the volume of the solid whose base is the region inside a circle which is x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 and the cross sections taken perpendicular to the x-axis or square. Now, bago natin sagutan yung uh, example natin sa pagkuha ng volume ng known cross sections, sa tuwing magkakaroon tayo ng problem or, AP or calculus problem involving cross sections, lagi tayong may dalawang figures. Ito yung una nating figure, yung circle, na may equation daw na x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. At ito yung magiging base ng ating solid figure. Now, ang ating cross section naman or known cross section in this particular word problem will be the squares that is standing perpendicular daw dun sa ating x-axis. Now, by illustration, ito yung ating equations ng circle at saka nung isa pang figure which is yung square. So, ito yung ating circle given by the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. At ang known cross-section natin na nakikita nyo dito na isang linya lang, ito yung top view ng square na cross-section ng solid figure na ito. Now, since ang given equation sa atin ay x squared plus y squared is equal to 4, kailangan muna natin siyang i-convert in terms of x or in terms of y para makapag-umpisa tayo dun sa ating mga functions na gagamitin sa integration. Now, since yung ating cross-section is pa vertical or perpendicular along the x-axis, ang gagamitin natin dito will be top minus bottom. So, that means yung ating function ay kailangan is with respect to x. So, yung x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 can be changed into y squared is equal to 4 minus x squared. Taking the square root of both sides and you'll have y equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 minus x squared, which is now an equation in terms of x. Now, ito yung ating one-dimensional illustration ng ating word problem. Now, sa ating two-dimensional or three-dimensional na illustration, mapapansin nyo na yung base natin, which is yung square, I mean circle, eh, merong nakatayong square doon sa ating um, circle. Now, imagine nyo itong, mga itong isang square na to eh, merong multiple squares na nakapaloob doon sa ating circle na or base na circle. So, ang kakailangan nilang natin sa calculus is itong isang square na ito at hahanapin natin yung function natin base sa known cross section ng square na ito using its formula for the area. At ang area ng square ay given by the formula S squared na gagamitin natin mamaya sa pagcompute ng volume ng solid figure na ito na meron daw base na circle at meron cross section na square. So ito yung ating illustration. So ito yung ating positive square root of 4 minus x squared on top at yung sa bottom naman natin is negative square root of 4 minus x squared na gagamitin natin mamaya sa pagcompute ng volume ng solid figure. Now, yung una nating step sa pagsagot ng mga questions involving cross-section ng isang solid is una muna, kailangan nyo munang i-graph yung inyong function. At ito yung ating circle function kanina, given by x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. So yung ating radius will be 2 kasi yung ating equation ng circle has a radius of 2. So from y is equal to plus or minus squared of 4 minus x squared, nakakuha tayo ngayon ng function para sa ating top at saka sa bottom na gagamitin natin mamaya. Dahil dito, makukuha natin yung formula ng area ng isang square. Now, formula ng area ng isang square is given by S squared at hahanapin lang natin dito kung ano yung function na gagamitin natin para ma-replace yung value ng S which is basically yung base ng inyong square. So, yung base ng inyong square, gagamitan lang natin siya ng top minus bottom. So, yung top function nyo is yung positive square root of 4 minus x squared. At yung bottom function nyo naman is negative square root of 4 minus x squared. So, using this procedure, makukuha natin yung 
function ng area ng isang square. So, yung top minus bottom squared will be your base. So, you'll have square root of 4 minus x squared minus negative squared of 4 minus x squared, quantity squared. Now, you add them up kasi yung two negatives magiging positive and it will give you twice the square root of 4 minus x squared quantity squared. At ito yung formula ng area ng isang square na gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng volume. So, nakuha na natin yung ating function para sa area ng square. Kakailanganin na natin i-integrate yung ating function mula sa negative 2 papunta sa positive 2. Kaya, makukuha na natin yung volume nitong solid figure na ito using the cross-section of a square. So, v is equal to the integ integration of s squared dx from a through b. At yung ating value ng a or value ng integration will be negative 2 to positive 2. So, yung s squared natin na nakuha natin sa second step will be twice of the square root of 4 minus x squared raised to 2 dx. And by the process of integration, to integrate yung ating function, magkakaroon tayo ng integral of 16 minus 4x squared dx from negative 2 to 2 kasi sinimplify natin itong function natin na ito raised to 2. At kapag na-integrate natin siya, ang, ang integral ng function na yan will be 16 minus 4 times x cubed all over 3 from 2 or from negative 2 to positive 2. And by evaluating our integral function, yung volume na itong solid figure na ito na may base na circle at may cross section na square is 42.667 unit cubed. At yan yung process ng pagkuha ng volume na isang solid figure with known cross section. Now to give you a better idea of an illustration nitong ating um, example number 1, I'm gonna show you This is the same problem, but this time, gagamitan natin siya ng ating mga um, illustration. So, yung ating circle is given by the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 ng merong known cross-section na square perpendicular to the x-axis. At ang nakikita nyo ngayon is yung top view ng square na nakatungtong doon sa ating circle. Now, ang una natin gagawin is kunin yung um, base or yung area ng ating cross-section by finding its base using the function top minus bottom or x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. Now, kailangan natin i-convert yung ating um, function into a function with respect to x kasi yung ating cross-section is perpendicular to the x-axis. So, magkakaroon tayo ng y squared is equal to 4 minus x squared which will give us y is equal to plus or minus squared of 4 minus x squared wherein yung ating top function will be the positive 4 minus x squared at yung bottom function naman will be the negative square root of 4 minus x squared. And using the formula for finding the area of the square, which is s squared, makukuha natin yung ating integral function para sa ating integration later on, which is twice of square root of 4 minus x squared quantity squared. At nakuha natin yan doon sa ating illustration. Now, to find the volume, you just need to find the slices from yung negative 2 to positive 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng integral of twice of square root of 4 minus x squared quantity squared from negative 2 to 2, which will give us 16 minus 4x squared dx. At pag in-integrate natin siya from negative 2 to 2, yung ating volume will equal 42.667 unit cubed. At yan yung summary nung ginawa natin kanina sa example number 1. Now, let's have the second example. Now, sa second example naman natin, we need to find the volume of the solid bounded by the lines f of x and g of x. Now, yung ating f of x is 1 minus 1 half x, at yung g of x naman natin is negative 1 plus 1 half x, and the function x is equal to 0. Now, the cross section taken perpendicular to the x-axis are equilateral triangle. So, yung cross section na gagamitin natin ngayon, eh hindi na square kundi equilateral 
triangle. Now, yung una nating step is to find the point of intersection. And to do that, kailangan nyo lang i-equate si f of x and g of x para makuha nyo yung value ng x, which is the x-intercept nung inyong f of x and g of x. So, 1 minus 1 half x equal to negative 1 plus 1 half x will give you 1 plus 1 equal to 1 half x plus 1 half x. Therefore, x is equal to 2. So, ito ngayon yung ating x-intercept doon sa point of intersection ng f of x at g of x. Now, yung susunod natin gagawin after makuha natin yung point of intersection is to graph our function. Now, yung ating first function, f of x, is a line with a negative slope. So, pababa yung ating linya. At ito yung f of x. At yung g of x naman has a positive slope. Kaya pataas yung ating linya na magko-connect doon sa positive 2. Now, mapapansin nyo na yung base nung ating solid figure is formed by a triangle. And according to the problem, yung ating cross-section mula dito sa ating solid figure will be an equilateral triangle. So, ito yung ating cross-section na kukuhaan natin ng area or function ng area para makuha natin yung volume nitong solid figure na mayroong base na triangle. So, yung step number 2 natin is to find the area or yung function ng area ng ating cross-section. Now, alam natin na ang area ng equilateral triangle is given by square root of 3 over 4 base squared. So, ang kailangan lang natin hanapin ngayon is yung equation ng ating base dito na nakatayo sa ating triangle. So, top minus bottom ulit yung gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung function ng base. At yung top natin will be this function f of x, which is 1 minus 1 half x, minus bottom, at yung bottom natin, which is g of x, is negative 1 plus 1 half x. Now, by simplifying the function, you'll have 1 minus 1 half x plus 1 minus 1 half x. And by simplifying this, the base of your equilateral triangle will be 2 minus x. Nagagamitin natin para sa pag-integrate ng ating uh, computed volume using the formula of the area for the equilateral triangle. So the area for the equilateral triangle is square root of 3 all over 4 times base squared, which is now 2 minus x. Sa ngayon, nakuha na natin yung ating function para sa ating area ng equilateral triangle, kailangan na natin siyang i-compute or pwede na tayo mag-compute ng volume from 0 through 2 nitong solid figure natin na may cross-section na equilateral triangle. So the volume will be the integral of your area of the uh, equilateral triangle dx from A through B. And by substitution, yung ating point of integration will be from A through B, which is lower limit of 0, upper limit of 2. So we have 0 through 2, integral of square root of 3 all over 4 times its base squared dx, which will give you 2 square root of 3 all over 3, which is approximately equal to 1.155 unit cubed. At yan yung ating second example ng kung, na kung saan nakuha natin yung volume ng solid figure na merong base na equilateral triangle at cross-section na equilateral triangle. Now, for our illustration, so we have to find the volume of the solid bounded by f of x and g of x and the line x is equal to 0. So yung ating xy plane, yung ating f of x, which is a line or a decreasing line at yung g of x natin given by that line with a cross-section of an equilateral triangle. Now, ang nakikita nyo ngayon is yung base ng ating equilateral triangle mula sa top view. So, kailangan natin kunin yung top function at yung bottom function para makuha natin yung base ng triangle. At yung base ng triangle natin is top minus bottom. So, you have 1 minus x all over 2 minus 1 plus 1 half of x which gives you um, 2 minus x. So, ito yung top, ito yung bottom, at yung 2 minus x natin yung base ng ating equilateral triangle. Now, ang formula ng pagkuha ng area ng equilateral triangle is given by square root of 3 all over 4 base squared. Now, by substitution, yung base natin will be 2 minus x, which we will use in finding the volume of the solid figure from 0 through 2. So you have square root of 3 all over 4 times 2 minus x squared dx, giving us the volume of this solid as 2 squared of 3 all over 3, or approximately equal to 1.155 unit cubed. At yan yung ating example number 2. Now to summarize the steps on finding the volume of the solid 
um, with a known cross section, pwede natin siyang i-outline sa mga bullets na ipapakita ko sa next slide. So, yung ating um, steps sa pagkuha ng volume ng isang solid figure with known cross-section, unang-una natin gagawin is to graph the given functions sa para ma-visualize natin yung itsura ng ating solid figure doon sa ating word problem. And doon sa second step naman, kailangan natin mahanap yung point or points of intersection ng given uh, solid figure para makuha natin yung ating mga limit of integration. Now, after yung makuha si step 1 and step 2, yung step 3 is finding the area of the known cross-section na pwedeng isang square, isang triangle, or pwedeng iba pang mga geometric figure na, uh, na depende, depende doon sa given problem. Now, after nyo makuha yung area ng known cross-section, you can now find or solve for the volume of the solid figure by using yung area ng known cross-section na nahanap nyo mula sa step number 3. At ito yung pag-organize ng mga steps sa pagsagot ng, uh, or pag-calculate ng volume ng isang known solid figure given a cross-section.